Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if one or more audio service is not running error on your computer. And that's the error you get when you're attempting to run the playing audio troubleshooting wizard, and that's what it says. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I'd recommend doing would be to open up the start menu, type in services, Best result should come back with services listed right above app. Go ahead and left click on that. You want to scroll down to get to the Windows Audio service. So scroll down. Again, Windows Audio. And double click on it. Windows Audio service. Select the Restart the Service button on the left side. Select Yes. And do the same thing for the Windows Audio Endpoint Builder service. So you want to restart that one as well. And both services underneath startup type this column, if they don't say automatic, you want to go double click on it and change the startup type to automatic. So again, double click on it, set it to automatic and then apply and okay. Again, if neither one of them have that on any startup type, you want to go change it to that. So again, pretty straightforward. Close it here. Another thing we want to go do is open up the start menu and type in device manager. Best result should go back with device manager. Go ahead and left click on that. Select the sound, video, and game controller section to so go double click on that and then right click on the audio device list under here and select update driver. Right click on whatever device is listed under here and select update driver. Select browse my computer for drivers and then select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Select whichever one is most applicable here and then select next again. Select yes. If there's anything that doesn't say generic, you probably want to go with it. The more specific, detailed one, if it's a specific audio device selected. Otherwise, you can select the generic driver just as a heads up. Otherwise, you can see we have successfully updated our drivers. Go ahead and select close. Close out of here, restart your computer, and then hopefully the issue should have been resolved. Also, go ahead and make sure if you have any headphones or speakers, make sure it's turned on. That is just another thing I'd recommend checking. And other than that, hopefully you guys should be good to go. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.